Prime Minister Narendra Modi has declared war on black money, corruption and terror financing with one master stroke. 1,500 rupee notes have ceased to be legal tender from Tuesday midnight and to replace them with new 500 and 2,000 rupee notes with immediate effect. RBI and Finance Ministry has issued clarifications to Ali and Affairs regarding the withdrawal decision. Control room to be set up by both to monitor situation and ease the transition process. Economic Affairs Secretary Shakti Kanta Das has said any loss due to discarding old currency notes will be minuscule as compared to benefits of eliminating black money. RBI announced increase in production of currency and also to provide new currency notes as soon as possible. RBI Governor Urjit Patel has also expressed concern over growing menace of fake Indian currency which has been increasing in numbers. Reactions have poured in from across the country with most people applauding Prime Minister's bold decision. President Pranam Mukherjee has said it will help unearth unaccounted money and counterfeit currency. The SIT chairman on black money said that decision will help in combating black money. All banks and ATMs to remain closed today to make comprehensive arrangements and ensure seamless transition. Till 18th November, one can withdraw 2,000 rupees per day per card and the ceiling will raise to 4,000 rupees from 19th November onwards. Prime Minister Modi has appealed to the countrymen to help banks and post offices meet this challenge with poise and determination. Pakistani troops shell Indian posts and civilian areas along the line of control in Rajori and Poonch districts of Jammu and Kashmir, forcing Indian troops to retaliate. One army jawan has been killed and one other was injured in Pakistan shelling along the LOC in Naushara sector of Rajori district of the state. Prime Minister Narendra Modi held talks with three defence chiefs and National Security Advisor Ajit Dawal on Tuesday and took stock of the situation along the LOC. Prime Minister Modi chaired a meeting with the Army Chief Jalal Dalbir Singh, Navy Chief Admiral Sunil Lamba and Vice Chief of Air Staff Vice Admiral Birendra Singh Dhanwa. During the meeting, the Prime Minister was apprised of the overall security situation in the country. New Green Urban Transport Scheme on the annual with central assistance of 25,000 crore rupees private investments to be encouraged to improve public transport in cities. Inaugurating the four-day Urban Mobility India Conference and Expo in Gandhi Nagar, Urban Development Minister Vainke Naidu said the central government is working on new policy initiatives to encourage private investments in climate-friendly and sustainable public transport systems. During the special drive to check pollution which started yesterday, 236 non-distant vehicles were returned at Delhi borders and not allowed to enter into Delhi. 568 vehicles were chalaned for not having pollution under control certificate. Over 5,200 old-looking vehicles were checked out of which 11 vehicles were found more than 15 years old and were impounded. More than 50 major construction work have been stopped. BJP President Amit Shah to flag off party's fourth Parivartan Yatra from Balia. The four Parivartan Yatras that would cover different parts of Uttar Pradesh would culminate in Lucknow on the eve of the 92nd birthday of former Prime Minister Atul Bihari Vajpayee on 24th December with a rally of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Supreme Court told Uttar Pradesh Minister Azam Khan to file reply by 17th November for his statement on Bulanshahar gang rape case. The victims had approached the Supreme Court that such statements influenced the case. Supreme Court also directed several media organizations to submit the press conference of Azam Khan in which he made the statement related to Bulanshahar gang rape case. External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj has said she is personally monitoring the situation in Congo where an explosion has killed a child and injured 32 Indian peacekeepers in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo city of Goma on Tuesday. Republican candidate Donald Trump leads in the first projected results. With 270 to win, Trump leads with 150 against Hillary Clinton's 109. Donald Trump has won in Indiana and Kentucky while his Democrat rival Hillary Clinton has come out on top in Vermont. Two polling stations in California were placed on lockdown following a nearby shooting that killed one person and wounded three. The shooting took place yesterday in the city of Azusa. Residents have been advised to stay clear of the area and shelter in place. The much-anticipated series between India and England is all set to begin in Rajkot after Supreme Court allowed the BCCI to incur expense of around 59 lakh rupees for the first match. Top-ranked India looked to settle all scores by unleashing their spinners on a strong English side.